So the first thing that we should know with Seishan from Chumbi Jaze is the timing of the motion. So remember the timing of the motion here, we're going to step in kind of a half moon position, stepping in a half circle uh, with our left leg stepping here. We're going to come in one, feet come together. And then as we step, our arms aren't going to move. So you see how I kind of turn and my arms follow the nature of the hoodie, but then I'm not going to cross my elbows until the foot plants. Once the foot plants, that generates the inhale. The inhale draws the tangent in with a contraction and my arms contract. That's the timing. That timing's uh, key in this young. And is what anyone, any uh, of the TAC members of the Kodanja Shimsa will be watching for that timing in the hyung to see if you if you understand that principle. So again, the left leg steps, the arms are still. We wait for that step. And once you connect to the earth, the arms collect via the inhale. We're in Sagarik Jase here. Okay, so let's just try that five times. Okay, so left leg stepping, hana. And back. And back. Set. Back. Net. And back. And toss it. And back. Step. Elbows touch. Exhale, which creates that, that internal tension, which moves the arms. Then from here, your hoodie is all ready to go, right? Weight's held back just a little bit. Both knees are bent. Hips are turned to the side. So there's, there's no, it's just direct here. Right, so you want it. This is where we see the mantis here. So you see the stillness, and then once you see the prey, direct. And then you want to definitely see the weight transferring into this front leg. A very obvious weight transfer into the technique. Okay, then from here, one more time, back leg steps. The step creates the inhale. The inhale closes the arms. And then exhale. And then last time. And puddle. Left leg stepping. Hana. So that timing is key. Direct. Again. Direct. 